Welcome to a hairy Neil lockdown 2.0. Looking, uh, I'm not bald. I just have this cut lower than every other bit on purpose for that monk look. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video. Just a quick one, please hit the like button on this video. It has an enormous effect with all the YouTube algorithms to promote my videos to a large audience. So one quick click from you, just on the like, the thumbs up can go and awful long way to getting my videos out to a larger population and get them watching my content. Thank you. Over to the video. Um, yeah, so you join me and Ben just there in between TikToks, no doubt. And my my England merch, look, England rugby merch from Tar Charles Tirrett, not sponsored nor backed, but if you really want to send me some free shirts, you can do by Charles Tirrett, go and check him out. Um, but they, uh, it's fantastic because I get my shirts from there and I really love my shirts from there. And they have just started sponsoring the England rugby team, which is great because it means that they've got an awful lot of branded, um, subtly branded England shirt stuff. Um, and I needed some new shirts. So I went along there and scored a great deal on like three shirts and two polo shirts, all with like different England logos and different colors and stuff. So really like that. Uh, well, so I, a really grumpy person put a message on last night saying, why don't you just make an interesting video that shows us all of the items instead of just whatever. Um, so I said I'll do that, but not today. Just so you join us. I'm busy and so Ben. Ben's doing the grunt work here today. Look, you can see all this, uh, he's been processing all of this top merch um, from Palette Batch 3 and is just starting to pack up people's orders here. Now, the good thing about this is uh, that this stuff, um, actually, in, instead of a mo you know everything being large, large like coffee machines and things like that and robot vacuums, these stuff slide straight in a DPD bag, which is really quite good. And being quite light and not lumbering boxes, they might get treated a little bit better by certain members of DPD Couriers. Now, I'm sure that's not just an isolated incident with an isolated courier company and DPD do, DPD do a good job um, with all our stuff. I don't think we've ever had anything go missing, which is fantastic considering how many hundreds were shipped. However, there are some box items that really don't fare very well, such as life. Uh, but yeah, the good thing about this is that all these small items that we're shifting, toothbrushes, razors, hair clippers, um, massages, bottles, things like that. They all fit in the free supplied DPD mailer bags, which is really cool because it does make our lives a lot easier. We haven't got a bubble wrap and then cardboard wrap and then triple wrap and vinyl wrap and tape wrap and chugga 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 wrap. And that's what happens when you set an alarm to go off during the day and you're recording, it stops you recording. Hold up, inflator bag. So I really need to pull my finger out and get some DPD labels sorted out. Oh, but this stuff is starting to sell really well. And that's what happens when your thumb presses the volume button while you're recording. It also stops your recording. Really not good at this. I use this because it means the footage is on my phone ready to edit instead of my GoPro because it's a ball like getting footage off the GoPro. Um, so while Ben is still continuing to hug that <laughs> parcel, um, where was I? Oh, get my iPhone 12 mini on Friday, I believe. Uh, yes, so I'm quite looking forward to that. My phones don't fare well, I do break them a lot. And it's a good job that I have got a tech repair business because they end up repairing on my device a lot, but I don't take very good care of it and I really should. Quite a few orders to pack today, I think 11 items. There is some stuff, we're still selling stuff on the uh, from the large pallet, the, uh, the lorry load. So there is a faulty um, kind of stand-up vacuum cleaner a fully working iron station that went for about, this went for a hundred pounds, which I'm really pleased with. Um, retail value, I think circa 200, I believe, or 150, no. Yeah, I think it's about 200. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the finally shipped, the robot 
window vacuum cleaner, which ben, Ben's gutted about um, because, well, I don't really know. Oh, he lives in a high rise, like, now ben, ben, Ben's now got his penthouse in the shard. I guess he was looking forward to you. <laughs> now he's a TikTok legend. He was looking forward to using the, uh, the Ecovax um, robot thing that stuck us to your window and includes your glass windows. But I think, to be honest, if you put that on my window at home, it'd go, and then you'd have to take it off and do the next one. So it kind of defeats the object. Yeah, so that, that's going to a new home. And I think that sold for a hundred and, how much that sell for? I want to say 140-ish. It was up for about 195. Quite a lot of money's worth of when they're new, um, like 400 pounds odd. Oh yeah, that's 145. 145 that sold for. I set that offer for 145. Massive discount, much bargains, huge discount. But it's been on the shelf for a little while, and this is all about throughput and getting shot stuff quite quickly. Another robot vacuum cleaner going. That's about 55 pounds. Again, I think we probably saturated the UK with robot vacuum cleaners because when I started buying and selling these at the beginning of the year to what I am selling them for now is greatly reduced. I don't know if that's just because I'm accepting lower level, lower offers just to get stock shifted or whether I've just supplied everybody who wants one with one. Um, but there was a lady, uh, this, not, this particular item isn't going to there, but there's a lady called Mary in Ireland who has bought with her and her family and friends. Uh, in fact, she's outsold Ben because Ben was selling to, to members of his family and, well, which is my family, because he's my brother-in-law, um, but, uh, and friends, uh, which I don't have actually. So he was basically shifting quite a few, but this Mary in Ireland, she shifted, she shifted about nine. So she's outsold you. Yeah, it's impressive, impressive. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I've got a big, a bit of an issue. I don't know if you've been following my Facebook post. Check out facebook.com forward slash Neil Barker official. Um, yeah, ran into a bit of an issue with buying. Now I use a website called A2ZB stock for all this stuff. And I logged in about 10 days ago to start looking for the next pallet load and up flagged a Brexit alert saying that as of the 2nd of November, which is about four days after, before, uh, four days after I saw it, they will not allow UK customers to buy any UK, uh, European pallets and vice versa, which kind of killed me dead in the water really because all of our stuff was from mainland Europe. <laughs> Message them to see if it's a long-term thing, whether it's just whilst we sort out a Brexit deal or whether it's forever. And of course, this gray matters instantly work, you know, figuring out a workaround um, and different plan A, B and C, because I don't want to let this go. So there are options on the table, but I need to, um, I've got to make a few phone calls, speak to a few guys that I know as far as couriers and transit and freight across Europe and, and this and the other. Where there's a will, there's a way. So we've got that bit of a hiccup going on at the moment, which means I'm struggling to buy the next lot and uh, we're probably on our last pallet then are we yeah we're on our last pallet no that's not uh it's not fantastic but five, boxes to go. five what five of these boxes yeah. yeah so five we've got five of these um, which is essentially a pallet what the um, yeah five of these to go and, and as you can see there's a lot of products per box but it's not going to last forever Sod's law is says when things are going well and, and working out all right, there's, a, you know, something's gonna happen to try and throw you off. So I've got that to try and work out. We're still shifting. We've still got a reasonable amount of stock from the, the lorry load. My man is this and all the eBay stuff. Hassan, he is absolutely ticking along. Ben's doing loads of the processing stuff. It's not all over yet, but I do need to get some more merch. Now looking at this beer trim, I am half thinking about cracking open a box and actually trimming my hair and beard in the office is not going to be the ideal solution. I say I'd like a mohawk, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I'd have like... Sh a what? <laughs> a harsh, harsh. Firm but fair. Like the Russian police. Firm but fair. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, this is, uh, this, <laughs> hey, Ben, this, this item here explains your TikTok channel all over, small scale.
<laughs> boom, boom, boom. So there you go. Um, well, Ben's hard at work. I'm hard at yapping. Long may it continue. That's my next video. Speak to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Go to my Facebook. Buddy, buddy, bar. See you soon.